Back on this Sunday morning, talking about the four constitutional amendments that are proposed on the ballot. You'll see them when you vote uh, in October and early voting or in November on the 8th. John, one of those uh, amendments has to deal with who can hold office in the legislature. That's right. Some people may not be aware, but currently and and for quite a while, people, men and women of the cloth, have been prohibited essentially from holding public office. That's kind of uh, ridiculous because it's been happening anyway, but mm -hmm. it is now officially going to be taken out of the Constitution if it passes. If it passes. So, Representative McKenzie, let's return to our discussion. Amendments 2, 3, and 4. You don't like Amendment 1. Do you like 2, 3, and 4? I do. I do. I, I think uh, 2 does add to the Constitution. But, but but what it does, it creates a structure and, and a mechanism for if a governor becomes inca incapacitated, what the state should do, you know, and it's not just death. I mean, it could be, you know, he could maybe fall into a coma, have an extended surgery, he or she can have an extended surgery. So it just sets those things into motion. Uh, three, it's, 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 it's a shame that it hadn't happened before now. The word slavery has no place in the Constitution. It never did. Kind of like Amendment One, we shouldn't be adding things in the Constitution that 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 may make sense 100 years or 300 years ago, but makes no sense today. And then four, as you said, um, it's been ruled unconstitutional. There's several men and women of the cloth that have served in the legislature that that serve now. So it's it's just really a cleanup. Like the bottom line is, let's keep the Constitution or the Constitution of the state of Tennessee a sound document, a concise document, and not adding all these extras. Susan, give us some perspective uh, on just how often we see proposals like this. As Senator Massey articulated and Representative McKenzie backed up, this is something that takes a lot to get. It has to go through several layers in order to even get in front of voters. How often do we see something like this in Tennessee? Well, I, it's very rare, obviously. I, I can't remember the last time. I know there was, seems like there was one in the 70s. I, I, what, what about the abortion issue 2014. previously about 20 years ago? No, yeah. 2014. Well, not even that long. 20, yeah, yeah, there was that one. But I, what I was going to say is people need to understand, we mentioned it in the first block, but last election for governor in 2018 there was a little over two million votes total for for bill lee and his opponent so in order for that let's assume there's two million this time these amendments in order to pass have to get a million and one votes in order to pass now y'all that's difficult because as you well know people tend a they don't understand them they're usually wordy and they're hard to understand on the ballot and they generally will vote no or they just skip them if they don't understand them. So I want everybody to understand that's listening. These are really important. Pay attention. I would like you to vote yes on all four, but it's important that you vote on them. Don't skip them. John North, you were mentioning 2014, some perspective. Yeah, so that was a huge one, and especially right now today, as we look back, that was an enormous vote, what happened then. Uh, it was to essentially throw out the constitutional right in the Tennessee Constitution to access to an abortion, and we didn't really see it then, but we can see today that was the start of a series of steps that has led to Tennessee to, to have its now prevailing law, the so-called trigger law, which is now in place. Representative McKenzie, uh, to Susan's point, anything you'd leave the voters who are watching now um, who want to know more about what they're going to vote for? I would just encourage them to, to reach out and do the research. And I, I'll go I'll go back on on one. It, it again, do the research. And if you don't, I, I'll be different from from Susan. If you don't understand it, don't vote for it. I would rather people not vote for things that they don't fully understand. They just leave that blank, especially on one, it, because it, it's important in terms of of, of, of the uh, trickle down effect and, and, and what it has uh, on, on the rest of the state of Tennessee. So uh, I, I do agree with, with, with her math, but uh, you know, on these vote yes on, on two, three and four, no on one. Representative McKenzie, we always appreciate having you on the broadcast. Thank you for the time this morning. Don and Susan, thank you for spending your Sunday with 
with us. And as always, we appreciate our viewers. If you missed an Inside Tennessee, lots of candidates coming on because early voting starts in the middle of this month and then Election Day is November 8th. So to all of you, have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you for watching and always check the Inside Tennessee page for more background.